a program between Leroy and Seahorse. Yes. With me is Chef Frederick Hald, the number one chef in Norway and the person who wrote a book, How to Cook Trout and Salmon. Thank you so much. It's a great nice pleasure. Meeting you. This is my baby. Yes. This is the baby that is born in the cold, clear waters of Norway, in the deep fjords, and this gives this beautiful fish, which is sweet, have a nice balance of fat, and a beautiful texture. If I ask you what is this, you'll say salmon. No. But this is no. Big no from him and a small no from me. It looks like salmon, but it is not salmon. It is trout. Trout. How would you say trout in your language? Urat. Yes. Urat. Urat. Yeah, very good. <laughs> right, so we got okay. it right. How yes. to say yes. what fish it is, right? Yes. Now we will cook fish without fire. What are you going to make? I'm going to make uh, some typical uh, Norwegian ingredients, but made in a fusion way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this fillet of trout uh, that I put out all the brown meat. I'm going to make it into thin slices. First, Fusion. First I cut and I take the loin of the back, very beautiful, and I just make thin slices like this. And you know, seafood is fast food. Fish is a fast food, yeah. Yeah, because it just takes a couple of minutes, you can make the slices of the fish and then you just eat it. And it's so good for your head, your skin, your heart. Basically, good for you. Yes. Good. What is good for you is good for me, and what is good for you and me is good for everyone. Yes. Right? And seafood is good for everyone. Wow. This is the food of the new millennium. Yes. Let's make the dish of the new millennium. So now I will start the marinating of the trout. And the first I do is I take lime and just take a little bit of the skin of the lime on top. I take a lot of the skin because I like the uh, citrus fa flavor, mm. the mild, and also the oil coming out of the uh, citrus, lime. Yeah, lime uh, oil, lime yes, oil. Zest oil. Yes. Yeah, citrus oil. So I think that's okay. Yeah. And then. It's a delicate fish and you are treating it very delicately. Yes, you need oh, to do that. Nice. And then I brought from Norway seaweed. Seaweed? Good. Yes. Good, good. Taste. This is called dulce. Dulce, like sweet? Yeah, like sweet. In which language? That's the English language. Yes. Mm. Can you feel the taste of sweetness? I feel the sea. Yes. The old man and the sea. Yes, <laughs> the young man. And yeah, the oh, thank you for the compliment. <laughs> I wanted that. So, what I do, I just put the seaweed on top, like oh, this. Nice. And this is dried seaweed. Very nice. It is taking the fish, a dead trout fish, back to the sea, making it come alive. Again. Again. This is a chef's job. Then I just put on some soya sauce. Soya sauce. This is kikoman soya sauce. It's kikoman. You can use whatever kikoman. sauce you like. Not the thick one, the thin one. The thin one. The, and not so salty one. Mm. Salt is not very good, no? Perhaps. No, we need to reduce the salt. Mm. Yes. Okay, so chef, this is my Dubai style food. You, you, this is, you got inspired coming to Dubai? Yes. Dubai is a melting pot of food. Yes. And you made this. Yes. I actually can see Norwegian trout mingling with the Asian soy sauce. Yes. And then the uh, Baltic Ocean uh, seaweed. Yes. And uh, Moroccan uh, lime zest. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wonderful. I would call this the white trout. So, 
or I will make since we are in Fuego, which is a Mexican restaurant, yes. we will make something with fire. Fuego uh -huh. means fire in Latin American language, Spanish. <laughs> so we'll bring the fire from some chilies. This is maybe the first time Chef Hald is going to have the trout with some chilies. Oh yes, yes. You don't mind? No, no. I'm going to put some green chilies inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, some more. Okay. Okay. With your permission. Uh, yes. Approve. Some salt. To get a grip. This is sea salt. Mm -hmm. Some more. Yep, and uh, some cilantro. Okay, very nice. Very nice, that is a quick. So we have some prepping work, mm -hmm. like onion, red onion. We can uh, have some, uh, looking at trout. Yes. <laughs> and thinking of the onion size, mm -hmm. we need to make it chunky. Chunky, yes, yeah, chunky. chunky. Chunky is the best. Chunky is the best. I want the onions to meet the chilies mm -hmm. and the cilantro, uh -huh. become friendly. Right. Now, this is something green. Green what tomatoes? This? No. This yes. Is not green tomato. <laughs> this is a tomatillo. Tomatillo. Tomatillo from Mexico. I'm going to burn this tomatillo. They yes. taste better mm -hmm. when they're slightly burnt. You can do that in the grill also. Put the fire off and then we will chop this. This is just for a little bit of sourness. Sourness. Okay. Now, just a little bit of olive oil for the shine. Mm -hmm. Then we mix all these things. Try to take out the chilies. Make friendly with the onion. Mm -hmm. and, uh, before adding lime juice, we will transfer all this to a bowl. Mixing bowl, yes. Yep. That's it. Thank you, Chef, for helping me. Now, it's all nicely mixed. Now, the star of the day. The Norwegian Fjord Trout. I've just taken the loin side of the... The loin side. Trout. Make it a chunky cut. Am I treating with respect or not? Very respectful. Very and respect. so nice that you mix the fatty part and the less fatty part together. Yes. Because then you get the best taste of it. Best mouthfeel. So, I'm going to just put it right here. Okay. Oh, look at that. We just go, thank you. Now, I just give a toss so that chilies get inside before the lime comes in. Yes. I just want the chilies to get inside. To get in before yeah. the... Yeah, if you put the lime first, then the chilies don't go in. Okay. And then the weak, the chilies become weak. Mm -hmm. They don't have a character. So I'll have the chilies go in first. And then we will bring the limon. How much? Habla espanol. So, we bring in now the limon. There you are. Oh, thank you. Nice, fresh lime. Juice. Moroccan lime juice. Moroccan lime. Moroccan seedless lime. Yes. It's the zest he used and the juice I use. Doesn't need half an hour, one hour like normal ceviche. No. It just requires just probably half a minute. To mix in to the... To mix in and get it all infused. That's it. I think we are ready. Now, so we need to get in some mango mm -hmm. and the avocado. Okay. Yeah. So, I have some mango which I have peeled. I have some mango. 
mango is from Kenya. Oh, that's the best mango from in the world, I think. At this season, yes. Yes. <laughs> At this season, yeah. Yeah, in this season. In Dubai, you get everything in any season. Yes. Only thing is, it comes from different different countries. Yeah. Yeah. The best thing is, Seahorse brings you some fresh seafood. Yes. Any time, any time of the year, or yes. anywhere in the world where it is caught fresh. Fresh. Great. Now we are ready to plate. You put some lettuce leaf inside, but then who wants? Yeah, absolutely. When you're having trout, mm. you don't want anything fancy. Mm. Here's the lettuce later. Be a rabbit. Here we are talking about trout fish and some good mango chunks. Oh. And then maybe some avocado. And one pisalis. Pisalis. Ah. So we have a small tomatillo garnish. It is called pisalis. Ah, very beautiful. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you very much. I don't want to finish this fast. I want to make it more complicated. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some passion. We are um, passionate chefs. Yes, yes, yes. You from Leroy and me from Seahorse. We are passionate. I mm. have some passion fruit. I am going to put on the top. Oh, oh. You want to make some more? Yes, I would like to well, like one more dish. I know. I want to learn one other dish from him. Because I respect this fish more after I saw Chef Frederick Hall making so effortlessly such simple dishes but marvelously tasty. Thank you. Let me learn one more dish from Chef Frederick Hall. Yes. So in this dish I'm going to make from the tail part of the fish. So also a very fast dish making just chunks of uh, the throat. The thing is, when I do this kind of chopping with the raw fish, I never use the kitchen machine. Because if I use the kitchen machine, the fish will lose more of the oil and the water. And I want to have as much oil and water inside the fish when I'm going to make the dish. Pepper. Pepper, black pepper. Just black pepper. I and add some salt. salt. Okay, you, you want to just do this little up here? Because our people watching this program far, far away. Far, far away. We just take it a little closer to them. So, again... Oh, this is lemon zest. Yes. Yeah, that I, was lime zest before. Yes. That you don't get a cold at all. Eh? No, 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 no. Too much. Yes. Yeah, and you right. know, in my country, in this time of the year, in the winter time, we use a lot of the citrus. Because it's good for your health. I know. This part I know. Oh, for very sure. good. Very good. <laughs> So, and then I have a little bit of spring onion. Uh, or green scallion. onions. Yes. Same thing. And I also add some mustard. This is a Dijon mustard? Uh, this is not, it's American mustard today, but normally I use the French mustard. Then I start plating the dish. So right. what I just do, I take a little bit of the... Good. And then a little bit of lemon juice, just oh, okay. like this. And then... I 
I'm gonna put my tatar inside this. Norwegian fish going Mexico. Going Mexico. This is Fjord Pro Tata Fuego. A la fuego. A la fuego. Si. Sí. Bueno. Rico, rico. Anything else you want to put? No. So this is just chopped fjord trout. Anything else you want to put? Please, can you help me? Yeah, because he made one dish more than me. <laughs> I have to do something. I will compliment, okay? Because it is, you said a la fuego. Mm -hmm. Fuego means fire. Yes. Fire, you know, fire from the chilies. I'm going to put some chili flakes right here. Ah, very good. This is just for contrast. So people, how's that now? Now Lovely. this is Mexico. No, it's Mexico. Okay. Bueno. bueno. So let's take a picture together with this. What we are going to do is, we are going to enjoy these things. You can do the same thing. Buy some Norwegian Fjord Kraut today. And enjoy it at home. Enjoy it at home with these simple recipes from Leroy Chef, Frederick Hall, and CEO Chef, Anil Kumar. <laughs>